I had a wedding last weekend with a good friend of mine in Savannah, Tennessee. His name is Chris Roser. It's a beautiful wedding. He did great. Every now we're standing there. We asked him, how, how'd he do it? Then he said, well, let, let me ask you something. He squared me up. He's a big guy. He's a football coach. Put his shoulders, put his hands out on my shoulders, looked me square in the eye. Do you like the fella? The first thing was in my head was, well, he's a Cubs fan. And then uh, the second thing went through my head. We were having dinner with Mike and Ann one night, and they were just talking. And they were just saying how much John loved McKenzie. So I took that into account. And then 29 years ago, when uh, Debbie and I got married, and then my mom was the same thing. And people asked her, and she said, well, how can you not love someone who loves your child? So I went through my head, and I looked back to Chris, and I said, well, I like the guy. Friends and family, I am delighted and honored to welcome you all to this celebration of love. On behalf of John and Mackenzie and their families, I'd like to thank you all for coming to this most special occasion. This couple comes before us with the understanding that marriage is the blending of their two hearts into one. They further understand that marriage is the bridge between romance and love. This ceremony is about their love story. It's a beautiful love story about two aspiring young people who over several years have found a home in each other's hearts. Today, we celebrate their love for each other and are very grateful for those of you who have come from near and afar to witness these two separate hearts becoming one forever heart. Over these past several years, your love has grown. It has endured the tests of time. But all through these years, you have discovered a special kind of love for each other. It's the kind of love that makes your heart smile. It's the kind of love where you have learned that living above yourself and for each other is the most special kind of love. Beginning today, the two of you get to take each other by the hand and you get to start to do life together now as husband and wife. You get to create more memories, experience more adventures, and paint the brightest of colors on your future together as the artist. Mackenzie has blessed me with her loyalty and her love and her friendship constantly despite the beauty and the ugliness. She's just loved me through it all. And when I met John, he was really quiet, and I just thought, how do they have conversations? And then he started cracking out his jokes, and then I figured out they're perfect for each other. You could say his life was rather interesting before McKinsey. Since meeting her, I've seen John grow as a person, become more selfless and caring towards others. 
Mackenzie, we're so excited to welcome you to the Ponzio family. There are rapids, and there are calm areas. I wish you the best. <laughs>